Hey everyone, got another tips and tricks update for you to show you how to get the most out of your L2L connected workforce platform. So today we're gonna to take a look at a popular recent addition to the L2L platform, and that is the technician portal. So the technician portal is used by workers all across the shop floor. And we're gonna take a look at how you can set the technician portal as your default screen in L2L. So let's dive in. So first we're gonna click on our user profile up in the upper left-hand corner and then click on user settings. Under the dispatch view, we're going to change it from classic to technician portal. Hit save and you'll get the technician portal interface for all of your dispatches. Not only will dispatch default to this, but all text and email notifications will open in the technician portal as well. Okay, so I've got two other technician portal updates that I wanted to pass along. First, if you've ever accidentally closed out a dispatch and need to open it back up, now you can. Just uncheck the Close Dispatch box and you can edit the information. The final update deals with our L2L Assist AI functionality. We have updated and improved L2L's suggested parts and suggested fixes algorithms. As we continue to train our data models, you should see better and better results and quicker fixes. So that's it for today's tips and tricks, but stay tuned for more exciting announcements coming out of L2L. And as always, reach out to your customer success manager if you have any questions about L2L's connected workforce technologies. Thanks a lot.